I want to do a video on why I put the new products that I put on the website because I'm all about the why, okay? And they're things that I want you to know. I know we're putting them on social media, but you need to understand why I did this and what they do, okay? And why they should be in your medicine cabinet all the time. Okay, number one, organic lavender oil, okay? Organic lavender oil, and it has to be organic because there's plenty of lavender oils on uh, in the world, okay? But if they're not a good quality organic lavender oil, it's not going to be therapeutic, and I'm all about therapy, maximal therapy, okay? And so, organic lavender oil, if you have a skinned knee, okay, it's, it, it, it's anti-inflammatory. If you have herpes, whether it be on your mouth, you put it on uh, a little cold sore, and it will make it, most of the time, go away overnight, okay? If you have genital herpes, put it on there. It makes it go away overnight. If you have hemorrhoids, put it on there. After you get out of the shower, you put some in your palm, you take your hands, and you rub it all around. It makes those hemorrhoids all better, okay? Whatever it is, uh, if you've got uh, any sort of cut, anything, um, it's great in the summertime, all year round, really, uh, for under your arms for um, uh, for deodorant. Uh, look, you can put it on uh, as perfume. Uh, it makes people around you more mellow, which is never a bad thing, and it makes you more mellow. So if you're having a stressful day or you think you're going to have a stressful day, use it for your perfume for that day or use it for your deodorant because it absorbs through the skin. So organic lavender oil is one of those things that should always be uh, in your medicine cabinet. The other thing, colloidal silver. Colloidal silver is there because it is a healthy antibiotic. So you don't want to use antibiotics unless you need them. But let's say you have a terrible cut or scrape or any sort of inflamed skin condition. Okay, uh, when the skin's inflamed, even if it's a fungal infection, uh, the bacteria that's on the surface of the skin and bacteria, virus and fungus are hitting our skin nonstop in the air. Um, and so you put a little on there, it helps to heal it, okay? Um, so I often use colloidal silver. If people, if I think they have staph or strep, I will often put it as well on uh, uh, significant acne where people really have cysts, or you can dot it on a little pimple. Uh, it helps kill the bacteria in a healthy way. Um, the other thing is the colloidal silver that I have on there, and it's all about the strength. It's just like supplements. You have to take the right dose, just like you do with medications. Um, with colloidal silver, uh, that's a strong one that I have on there because it's all about the strength. It's all about the dose. Um, you can also take it internally if you're sick. Um, it's really not antiviral. It's antibacterial. So let's say you have a sore throat, okay? You can gargle with it. Um, just like you gargle with salt water as well. You can take a clove of garlic, crush it in that salt water, gargle with that. It helps kill... Uh, the bacteria. Uh, uh, it's antibacterial and a healthy antibiotic, which is why I have now put that on the website instead of it just being in my office. The other thing I'm a huge fan of, which I have on the website as well, and again, it's about if you don't do the right one, your trust is being betrayed, which is wild oregano oil. Most oregano oil on the market is marjoram. It's not oregano. And if it's not oregano, it's not antibacterial. It's not antifungal. Oregano is very antimicrobial, which means antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal. I have to travel a lot. I take wild oregano oil at least three times a week before I get on the plane, after I get on the plane, for a day or so afterwards, if I'm getting sick, um, uh, I'm always uh, putting in um, some wild oregano oil and for your gut to get rid of the bad bacteria because you want a healthy microbiome, which is why you take probiotics. I have a new probiotic that's coming on the website, um, uh, which is strong. And um, it's all about balancing uh, 
the microbiome so that everything's healthy. And when you take wild oregano, it's absorbed into your bloodstream. It goes around, circulates through all your body. So even if you have acne, it's a good thing to take. Even though acne is caused uh, not, it's not the bacteria that's causing it, even though that's always been the party line, but taking some helps uh, temporarily, uh, even if you have acne. So there's a reason that the things are on the website and I try through social media, through what's written on the website and some of these videos to explain to you why those things are there so you understand what should be in your medicine cabinet on a regular basis in case or for you to use intermittently. Okay, keep asking us the questions that you wanna know and we keep trying to answer. Okay, thank you very much.